Kia ora, Legionnaires, Rikon here, and welcome back to Dust. We are here with Raphael on top of a big old dish in Big Mountain. We have a lot more of the place to explore today. We're working our way around the outer edge of this, well, crater, I suppose. And really, I have no idea what's going to be awaiting us. But no doubt it'll be a challenge worthwhile. And so with that, it's time for us to get started and dive on in. All right. So, this is effectively the pathway that we're going to be wanting to take. And, well, we might be able to do with a little bit to eat and drink before we go any further. Just to get started off, a nice brown steak and we'll wash it down with some water. Uh, we can always get some more water and purify that with our radix that we have. But for now, we're making our way back down and out the front. Oh god! Oh jeez! Don't ask me why I leaned, but uh, I leaned. Um, what the hell? Why do we have Milo Kings here? Ah, uh, hello. <laughs> you were not here before. You were not here before. You are real, aren't you? Oh my god. Why are there so many of them? Why are there so many of them? Okay, we're gonna go, we're gonna go. Uh, yep, they've got their little mental ranged attack thing. Time to go, time to go. Close the door. <laughs> what? Mm -hmm. Oh no. Oh, oh god. Uh, no, I'm, I'm, I'm okay. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. Lake lurks. Okay, we killed him. Uh, get the thing out, please. Come on, ref. Okay. Ow. Oh boy, these, they, they hurt. They take a second or two to charge up, though. Oh boy. Well. Hot damn, that was something. We need to... <laughs> need to get our axes back. Thank you. Holy crap. Well, okay. Welcome to the episode, I guess, Raphael. Uh, Lake Lurks. Nice. 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 Ah, boy. Let's go pop our light on so we can see what we're doing here. Oh, stuck axe in you as well. And uh, we'll be sure to actually put those back on. Lovely. Did the other one have anything for us? We'll take a few rads here, that's okay. No, empty. We were just being followed. Okay. Right, well, what's our time of day at the moment? Oh, it's 3am. Of course it is. Perfect time for us to be awake. Looks like um, this group of survivors were doing just fine. Night Stalker eggs. Empty whiskey. And... Okay. Crutch. We don't need it, but, uh... Because, you know, there are some items here. Hello, what's that? Is that a head of one of them? Maybe. I mean, I'm kind of tempted to find out what that is now. Okay. More noises over there. Oh, it's just a skull. Right. <laughs> Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll leave that be for now. Let's make our way up onto the hill. Um, I did kind of want to walk along that pathway that was up here. Oh, hello. Oh, hi there. I see you. Um, so, probably want to have some HP going into a fight, not knowing what we're going up against. So, sure, let's drop our perception down. Or, we've got a lot of poultices. Let's do that. A little bit of minus to agility. Okay. Oh, great. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. All right, here we go. Oh, boy. Wow, that was a... a yeah, a barrage. Okay, second X gone. Come on. Kind of in a difficult position for us to get to. My God. 
Okay, these things are a real pain in the ass to hit with, I'll be honest. Okay. Alright. Alright, 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 alright. Keep going, keep going. Don't stop, don't stop. We've got one more. Up there. Okay. So, good thing about this, it doesn't actually do... I mean, it's got armor penetration on it, but it doesn't seem to do too much in the way of damage. And you're just gonna hang up there, aren't you? All right? Sup? Okay, down here. There we go. So, the throwing spears... <laughs> I find a lot easier to throw. The protonic axes, while they're cool, I feel like I should reserve them just for robots and... Um... Power armor. Yeah. Take our spear back, we use just the one on you. <sighs> oh boy. Well, we'll see if we're able to um, grab all of our protonic axes back. Ah oh dear. Yeah, it's a good thing that we can tank damage more now. We've got enough HP, and our armor is pretty much as good as it can get. Although, we're going to need to make sure that we try and take care of it. I guess our weapon has a chance to uh, start to break down now as well. Eh, all of that's pretty much okay. I might just take the breathing mask. Anyone who can understand these messages... You do not belong here. We will find you. Sh sure, sure, okay. Sure thing, sure thing. Okay, so, first of all, recon goals are totally fine. So let's just repair this. We will use you and, uh, could use the other one. So we can probably use this as well because the, uh, that, that one's just so much better than this one. Yeah, let's just he heal our hat. There we go. Okay, we, we do want to make our way up towards you. Um, I would also like to try and grab our axes. That one and this one. And that should be all of them. Oh, okay. Of course. <sighs> we start sneaking. Anything around here can smell us. <laughs> okay. There we go, and up we go for now. Actually, before we forget, let's just resave them. Okay, what have we got going on over here? Oh, this is... Hmm. Toaster's Blood Shrine. Okay. Ooh, the big guns. What have we got? Wine? Eh, uh, we don't need the wine. Blue. Okay, so supplies. Right. Red is bad. White is... I'm not sure. The path, the right way. Got a whole heap of graves. I don't think we have, um... Yeah, we don't have a shovel anymore, do we? No, we don't. That's unfortunate. We might be able to get up there to try and steal some stuff. And there's an opening as well. Sure. I do want to just head along this platform a little bit to make sure that we didn't miss out on anything. I don't think we have. No. No. Okay. Lots of graves. I... I mean, I'd love to know what's in them. But we might just have to go without. An old intercom. Combat armor. Purified water. Sure. And stashed in here. Just some nice scotch. Okay. All right, then. So, can I get up there? And if I can, how? Oh, this way. 
Okay, just making sure that it's flour and not explosives. <laughs> Plunger. Lots of flour, in fact. Right away. Lovely. We might actually want to try and use them right away. Yep. Let's do that now before we forget. We are more than likely irradiated. Yes, we are. 122. Right away. Let that start to take effect. And we got ourselves a nice cave. Lovely. And the guns. I'm not sure where we started our little run around here. But I do, I do remember the- Towers does big mountain holes mm -hmm. for the intrepid seeker. Uh-huh. Yeah. Thank really? you. Does anyone know? <laughs> I'm at a loss. I think that started because of us carrying the, uh, <laughs> the goddamn antenna. Uh, and I don't know whether or not that it, the antenna, no, it's, it's not us, it's not worth us using as a weapon. And I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure that we can't, yeah, this is the blood shrine. Pretty sure that we can't actually do any of those. I'm relatively sure that it's just a quest that we're not meant to be able to complete. Some things, I suppose, are more difficult to remove from the game than others. And so here we have the cuckoo's nest. And we're not going in. Sorry, I baited you all a little bit there. Look, I do read the comments, and uh, I've seen many people noting that the Blood Shrine is instant death for anyone. Uh, doesn't matter if we're on a permadeath playthrough, it's death. I appreciate the warning on those things, because, uh, yeah, a cheap death while still a death isn't something that I'm going to knowingly walk into. Now, in saying that, being slightly aware for what could be an incredibly cheap death, I reckon we can maybe make it through it. But we'd have to be prepared. That's the thing. So, with that in mind, for those of you who don't know, this shrine is meant to be littered with mines right by the door once you walk in. Here is my rationalization for this. If we were to try and make our way into this cave, we'd slowly approach, check for traps, see if everything's okay, but because this is a game and we have to go through an invisible like loading screen, uh, we don't get a, a chance to actually look and see that those things are there. So it's a bit of a cheap move, Norgrim, but I think in general, it's totally fine. It's literally just because I'm playing this permadeath that it's a dick move. Regardless, though, I think we're going to approach this. And, and I know that's incredibly headstrong of me and Raph to think that we can make it through this. But I reckon we might stand a chance. We have a lot of HP. We just need to try and uh, give us as much of a, a chance as possible. So damage resistance from morphine and then probably I mean like I honestly I don't think the, the healing is going to help it's just we need to mitigate the damage so we're going to go for buff out as well it's 335 HP that's the best that we're going to get on that I don't know if there's anything else that we can take that would help us here the only other thing that I can think is the second that we get in, if we can try and bring up the Pip-Boy, we might be able to maybe make it around some of the damage. We'll have to see. Uh, okay. Let's do this thing. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. And there it is. Okay. Okay. Well, we actually managed to get this up in time. I don't think that's going to help us, though. Oh, God. We're alive. We're totally alive. Okay, that wasn't that bad. 176. I think the extra damage resistance helped us survive that, but okay, so that is the thing. Literally, the second that we walk in, toaster mines all over the place. I'm assuming it's toaster mines. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. What a place. 
love to be here. Okay, so we need to we need to get our limbs back. So we're gonna go <laughs> and pop that healing poultice here. <sighs> Wonderful trap, love it, fantastic. Uh, so that's more than likely not the end of that. So let's be yep extra cautious. Another one over there. So I'm gonna try and hang back. See if we can get this off. Okay, that was too high. Okay, too low. Oh, come on. I I swear I'm hitting it here. Am I not? Okay. Well, that's fun. Well... Okay, that's not working either. Okay, well, I guess I'm going to have to use a different method there. Uh, because I can't see the back of these toasters. I don't know if those are also toaster mines. They might be regular toasters. I can see the red bit on this one here, so I know for a fact. Yep. Oh, you're also not great. Okay, all right. We can maybe make... We can maybe hit all of them. Let's see. That was... It's got to be a direct hit. Close to. Screw it. Okay. Anyway. Ah. <laughs> uh, mm, okay. We're fine. Greetings from the Great Toaster. What do you got for us? Ah. Uh, here. Oh, sorry. Hang on. What you seek had butter be worth it. Because I'll be jammed if I, the great and powerful toaster, allow you into my domain. Halt and quiver before my toastiness. Ah, oh, fuck it. You're looking for that piece of shit Tally Portal Ponder, right? Everyone's always looking for the Tally Portal Ponder. What's in the briefcase on the shrine? No, not that shrine, the other one. Just don't blow yourself up and it's yours. Well, thanks. Appreciate that. Wonderful. Lovely. Not that I think we actually want it, but I feel like we've invested here. So... Those are ammo shells. Great. Wonderful. Okay. So... Whole heap of toasters over there. Wonderful to see it. What do I have in the way of explosives or other things that we might be able to use here? Honestly, just a gun. Just a gun might do it. <laughs> sure. We've got three frags we can use here. We'll use this one. Pop it up. Maybe up there. Let it bounce down. Hide. Okay. Lots of regular toasters as well, it seems. Wonderful. Decoys. Love it. Okay, and this lot, we're probably going to lose all of our throwables by doing that. Uh, no, weapons is what we're after. Frag grenade. And we'll just try and, uh, get that one just down about there. Hide. Okay. Oh, good. Looks like it's all still there. Well, some of our throwing things, at least. You're regular? Yeah, you would have blown up otherwise. Okay, grab you. You. Okay, and you as well. God damn, this place is a mess. All right. Sure, I might be able to use them. I feel like we can still blow things up with throwing weapons. Oh, we've got people here. Or rather, the remains of people. What was that? What is that? Are you kidding me? That's a mini nuke, just bobbing beneath the ground. This is this is a little overkill, hmm? Don't we think? Just just maybe a little bit. You're not gonna blow up on me, right? You haven't blown up yet. Okay, well, wonderful. Lots of toasters left. Love it. 
Because if we were going to rush in, you wouldn't know which one is uh, the bomb and which one isn't. And lovely. I'm pretty sure every single one of these are just regular toasters now because they should have blown up in that explosion. We'll still be cautious. We've got another tape here. I don't think this is the shrine in question, but let's see. Toaster's Declaration. I'm now worried that there's going to be bloody mini-nukes underneath the map. Whether that's a mini-nuke mine, I don't know. But I think the thing is, if it blows, e even if a mine blows up, it blows up ammunition that's nearby, so a mini-nuke would be included in that. Ah, <sighs> Declaration, what do you have for us? Despair, pitiful worms, for I rule over this domain, and I, on all, shall kneel before me. For I am the flame that will make this world slightly darker than you like it, not burnt enough that you'd want to throw it away or anything like that. I mean, a world's a world. Throw some butter on there, maybe a bit of jam. Mm, tasty. I'll take your word for it. I will take your word for it. Okay. So, mini nuke on the ground over there. Morphine's worn off, that's not good. Buff out's worn off, that's also not good. I'm gonna see if we can get ourselves into a position where we might be mini nuke proof. I know how that sounds, it is ridiculous. I wanna kind of be half behind this. So that if we, yep, there we go. So that if we throw something over there, we might not get caught by the uh, blast. Alternatively, I think it's just throw it and run would be the way to go. I think we only have the incendiary grenade left and I don't know if that's gonna cut it. Ah, oh, shoot. It probably still will. Okay, so here's the, here's the game plan. Let's get this out the way. Game plan is to throw over in that corner, run back there as fast as we can. Here we go. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, that's big. That got it. That got it. <laughs> oh boy. Yep. Hey, skeleton. You got yourself a crutch? We might need one of those. Oh, <laughs> free throwing spear. Don't mind if I do. Okay, so, I feel like that, hopefully, dealt with our bobbing friend that was over there. No idea what happened to the body. Uh, oh, he <laughs> there you are. Lovely. Are you, you gotta be kidding me. It's still there? We can't explore this place. Yeah, we legitimately can't explore this place. If there's gonna be mini nukes underneath the ground like that, we can't explore it. Especially if they're mined. I, I want to see if I can get to this body, but I'm also just freaking terrified of glitched out mini nukes. Okay, I've got two bodies here. It's tech scavengers. Okay. Look, look, another one over here as well. They're just all over the place. So, we can see with our binoculars what's over there, but we can't go any further, unfortunately. I, I'm not going to risk that. Um, yeah. I, I mean, coming in here, massive, massive risk. In saying that, it was like a measured risk. <laughs> if I had not known, if I had just walked in here, I probably would have died. But medics, morphine, that might have given us the edge we need. I mean, over here, I'm not seeing any bobbing. It does not mean that that's the case, though. We've definitely got more mines over here. Yeah, you know what? As much as my curiosity wants to push me onwards, we've got a... Looks like a proton axe back there. It's just not worth us risking it, knowing that there's the potential for frickin' mini-nukes beneath the ground that, that we can't do anything about. And I feel like there's 
some kind of creature in here as well, which is cool. But we're gonna have to pass it up. Yeah. It's just, it's too much of a risk. I know that sounds stupid after, like, what we just went through. Sorry, just zooming in to see our nutrition there. We do need to have something to eat as well. So, let's do that, and let's get ready to have an adventure outside. In, well, not safety, but where things make a little bit more sense. Throwing spears, and we'll have those at the ready. Back out to Big Mountain, please. Ah, boy. I kind of half expected the ground to just explode underneath of us. Looks like things are getting a little bit darker out here as well. The rest of you should try oh, this intercom, intercom thing. thing. It makes you sound like, like some kind of, kind of sky god. Mm-hmm. I guess we're gonna have to put up with you for <laughs> the rest of our stay now. Uh, okay. Wow, it's gone ridiculously quiet. All right, we got someone over here. They just by themselves. Hey, buddy. Okay. Another tech scavenger. Okay. Hey there. Just wait. Right in the chest. Damn, that's a miss. Okay. Alright. Time to head up a poultice. Try and go for the torso where we can. Easiest thing for us to hit. Oh boy. I didn't ask for this. Okay. Oh boy. Hey buddy. I'm gonna need you to be real quiet because we've got a freaking sentry bot around here and... Well, it wasn't shooting at you, so I think it might be friendly to you, which is... Not something that I want to think about right now. Well, we ain't gonna be sleeping. Okay, and we're being hunted still. Great. I'm going to try and go back to the spear just for now. Another one coming around this side. Yep. Ow. Crap. That poultice does not seem to be healing us. Or rather, it must have already run out. Guess we're going for another. Oh boy. Oh crap. Oh god. Move, 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 move. Stay on the move. Stay behind it. Yep, we're staying behind you. There we go. Ha. Ah. Well, the healing was nice in the end. Jeez. Ultimobot, nice to meet you. I think you nearly broke our weapon. Appreciate it. Thermal lance, yeah, it's, uh, it's feeling the damage. Okay, luckily we've got the axe over there. So, what are we gonna do? Take that. Just use the one on you, because we took your arm off. Apparently took both of yours off as well. Ha <sighs> Got anything interesting? <laughs> no, not really. What about you? L-A-E-R. Not bad. And we did throw two at you, so we'll take them. You. Take that. Proton Axe as well. So. What can we use to heal this thing? The anten So any two-handed weapon, effectively. Alright, that's going to give it a really nice boost. Fantastic. Thermic Lance all the way. Nothing on you. Ah, boy. 
ain't nothing like a little bit of a... Well, ambush. Uh, so I do want to go and check that little stockpile we just saw then. Okay, let's grab our throwing spears. I know we lost one. Just swap those around. And there we go. Two caches. Nope. It's quiet. Scotch. <laughs> necessary. Absolutely necessary. I think uh, Raphael would be deserving. After today. Well, we're going inside, aren't we? Yep. Okay. Um, I'm gonna go spears here. That's that. Another tech scavenger. I'm not taking a chance on that. Ooh, I would like to take them, if we can. Tool cabinet, wrench. Okay. Got to be something else worthwhile in here. Seemingly no. Okay. Yeah, just a little bit of ammunition. Alright. Just being doubly sure that we're not missing anything here. Because, you know, these things happen. I am known to miss things. Nope. That's it. No secret doors. Nothing, right? Just one in, one out. Okay. Back out then. That leads up onto the guns. Does our light keep turning off? It does. Doesn't seem like there's too much down there. Nice little control panel. Initiate, initiate test fire. I mean... Ah! Okay. I mean, test fireworks. <laughs> We've uh, determined that. What can we control the others? Because uh, for memory, you adjust them to to blow something open, right? I don't know if we can actually do any of that. Well, we can't do anything here. I think it's probably going to be the same over on the other one. Yep. Well, one of the guns worked. And I'm glad the uh, Thermic Lance just works so well against armor. Because otherwise, yeah. I remember using a buzz blade against a sentry bot. And that takes a while. Thermic Lance just has a way of really cutting into things. Okay, what have we got? Missiles, I mean, cool. Mintats, just in case. Same thing with morphine. We want to be careful with our usage of those though. It's a only if absolutely dire and necessary. Because we aren't so stubborn that we'll die before we take, you know, any kind of medication or drug. So, that's this station dealt with. The missile launcher on the back. Oh, and one of our spears. Lovely. Okay. Now, I'm pretty sure that we did some fighting around here. I could be mistaken. My memory of this area is not super great. But I'm thinking we're almost at the point where we've kind of looked... Kind of it, everything? There might be a few secret things that I have neglected or missed. 
It's difficult to know for sure what is going to be included in dust and what isn't. Especially not having any kind of map is, uh, well, a little difficult. We can use our eyes as much as we can. It's just very desolate around here. At least we don't have many nukes hidden off the ground. Not that I say that, you know. X-38? Oh! We've got quite a few more locations. That was 20 out of 35. Uh, so no, we haven't been here yet. Oh god, what is it? Oh, it's someone over there. Okay. Well, let's start to move up. Get ready to spare them. Sorry, buddy. Oh, whoops. That's a uh, decent weapon. Oh, your power arm is nice. And, uh, oh, let's get a. Come on. Got him. Leg strike. Okay, we're probably going to have a sleep before we go in. We'll just see what we got here. Take our spear. Ball cap with glasses. Uh, yes. <laughs> yes, I will take them. Stuck spear. Got a shish kebab over here, right? Right. Don't think we can use that against our... I mean, in our shish kebab is... Looking fine, right? Uh, I mean, we'll give it a little bit of a, a touch up. Let's see. Oh, wow, it really does not weigh a lot, huh? Not in the slightest. Any, any one handed weapon can repair it, it would seem. Not bad. Wooden crate. Stim pack. Damn, it's been a while. And you. Protonic Axe, Spear. Thank you. We'll be on our way. And just gonna put our spears back on as we approach the unknown. Okay, we can go in there. Soon, oh god. Science will be mine. Mm-hmm. Sure, sure. Um sh oh, god damn it. Sneaking. Just never works. Okay. Not worth it. Ah, of course. The holograms from the Sierra Madre. I was going to sleep outside. Probably would have been a, a sound plan. But here we are. Okay. good. Uh, I think that's the, the lesser version, yet again, of what we had before, of what we've been using. Yeah. The try one is just better in general. Okay. Are you gonna be chill? I'm just gonna have this out, just in case you're not. Scientist scrubs. Okay. Well, kind of direct with you. We can go out that way, though. Keep that in mind. Ah. Energy weapon skill book. And that's a recipe to make the skill book. Okay. Don't mind me. We're just making our way around. We can probably put that away. I feel safe enough now. Okay. Well, let's pop out the other door. See? Ah. 
where we show up. Oh, there's three of them. That is too much for us to carry. Okay, um, I don't know if we need to have nine protonic throwing axes, so we'll just go ahead and drop three. Sure, it gives us two carrying weight to play around with. I can work with that. Outside we go. And this is just right out the back here. Okay, alright, time for us to have a little bit of sleep. So let's use our bedroll kit, put out the lights, and sleeping for an hour. Alright, and without any issues, apart from it getting very, very uh, foggy outside. <laughs> Damn it. Uh, you know what? We can we can we can sleep for an extra hour. Um we can do that. <laughs> We're going to get hungrier and thirstier, but that's fine. And there we go. Oh, things are actually visible. So, two bottles of purified water. Feeling a lot better after that. And as for food... Let's see. We've finally made it through all those Brahmin steaks. So, um... We don't... <laughs> we, we do not have that much food. Uh, squirrel on a stick. All right, that'll 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 help out. Still a hundred nutrition that we need to knock down. Um, we've got some tunnel steaks. Okay, that's good. Hmm. Okay. Well, we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna keep that in mind as we continue on forwards, getting away from dead sounds. Probably not the nicest place for us to have slept, but you know what can you do? And downwards we go. Pulse grenades. Okay, yeah, I do want to take those. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And Brock flower, as always. You know what? We can probably make some more poultices or pulti, whatever we want to call it. Let's see. Healing powder. Apologies, just had a great big sneeze. Uh, but yeah, it doesn't look like we can do it. We are going to need more of the um, fungi. Okay. So, which way for now then? I think we do want to try and stick on the outside. Just looking for other areas that we haven't been in yet. Just looking kind of gnarly with your glasses on there. I think it's just their eyes in general look really, really messed up. Okay. Oh, all the way over there, huh? That was from quite a ways away. Was it power armor? Uh, nope. Oh, no, it's one of the, uh, suits. Right, I see, I see. Okay. Kind of want to go over towards here. But, uh, let's, let's deal with this suit first. Where are you? Where the hell do you go? Where are you firing at me from, huh? Z43. Have we been there? Who knows anymore? Ah, oh, you came around that way. Ah! There we go. Literally took its head off. Oh, and it. Plus two equals. Ah. Forbidden! Idiots of the think tank! Youch. It grew back ahead. Yeah. Okay. Multiplaz rifle and some human flesh. Lovely. Well, we just used one spear, so we'll take the one back. Uh, okay, we're going to check this place and then we'll go to the outskirts. Just make our way around. Avoiding the radiation where possible. Ooh, don't like sounds like that. Okay. Innovative toxins. Okay, so this is a hazard. Uh, right. That's to be expected. The green glow also makes me think that, yes, this is a hazard. We might be able to enter through the rear, potentially. If this is anything like the other building. Mm, I hope so. Because I don't really feel like going in through the front door there. And that's looking fun. Ah, uh, you know what? We can we can deal with a little bit of hazard, can't we? Think we're gonna have to now. So, what's a little radiation, huh? 
We'll take some Radix. Get ready for trouble. We've still got another right away, so we should be fine, right? We could find something potentially useful inside. Toxins plant. Okay. Yes, it's indeed radioactive here. I'm going to try and make this a pretty quick in and out search. Looks like it's the trauma harnesses here. Oh god. Don't know why that terrified me so much. I, I knew it was on the way. Oh. No flame flourish. So, oh my god. Yeah, we do not want to get hit with one of those. Took its leg off. Okay. Alright, so. Corrosive glove. Sure. There's a beer. Okay, do you have anything else? You got our stuck spear. Water fountain. Doesn't work. Sounds like it works, but it doesn't. And you. We'll take the one. Where did our other spear go? Over here. Okay, good. Just some duct tape. Okay. Trying to move through this quickly. We don't want to linger when rads are a part of the equation. Okay. Anything useful here? Chemical suits. Okay. Monitoring the Sierra Madre. Examining results. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, it's requisition order. Nothing else. Uh, let's check the desk, just in case. Wonder glue and some caps. As a souvenir. Alright. <laughs> As I got closer, I was just like, ah, oh, that might not be ammunition. But one must be sure. Vodka. Greasy toolbox. That's specific. And a hammer. Ooh, what have we got down here? Just a carton of cigarettes. Some scrap. Yeah, really, really not much worthwhile in here. From what we've seen so far. So, not really worth our time. We couldn't get into this thing, could we? Oh, no, we can. Right. I might stand corrected. Let's see what we can acquire here. I mean, there was a corrosive glove, but beyond that, we really haven't found anything worth much to us. I mean, nice. Cool. Just taking a bit of rads. Make some stim packs here, yes? Uh, ooh. Yeah, stim packs if we can. Five. Fantastic. Happy to have them. Right, so we got something out of this. We'll pop back on out. Oh. Uh, I don't need it. I don't need it. Uh, we will take some red away. Now that we've popped back outside. The Valley Research Center has been cancelled until further notice. As in, until someone notices it. Of course. Okay, that's the direction that we're going in now. Salesman's Weekly. Uh, nope, don't need it. Looks like you kind of just exploded. All right, we've definitely been noticed. Oh, there's a whole troop. Wonderful, 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 wonderful. Okay. All right, Raph, you know what to do. Let's start to do what we do best. Oh, are you all melee? Wonderful. Okay. Let's do this old-fashioned. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. <laughs> Holy crap. Holy crap. Okay, that hurt a lot. Um, I take it back. Might not want to melee them. They're some pretty dangerous weapons. And they can cut through our armor. So, let's back up, back up, back up, back up, back up. Ah, oh, don't hit me with that. Do not hit me with that. 
Okay. Nope. Oh boy. Oh boy. Yikes. Freaking yikes. Let's quickly go ahead, fuse these weapons together. Thermic Lance. Do your worst. There we go. Oh boy. Yeah, that super sledge kinda kinda hurt. So, back into here. Last bit of healing on that. We'll take our axe back, please. Oh, whoops, did we take the big one? I think we took the big one. Okay. Well, let's see. I can't do any more healing there, so we'll just chuck the other one away. And you... Stuck Spear. Oh boy. Archipelago. Okay. X13. Looks impressive. Alright. Towards it we go. And requires key. We are not opening that. Unfortunate. Yes. Don't know if we can do anything with that. If there's a way up, I'll try and find it. Yeah. For now though, we're gonna continue winding our way around. Oh. Right. We might have made it back. Back to the start. We feel hungry. Okay. Time to eat. Uh, let's go for... We're 200. So we could probably get away with taking a uh, tunnel of steak now. Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. That's this is where we this is where we started, right? Yeah. Which means I think we've probably covered a whole heap of uh, the area. I mean, it's so difficult for us to know for sure because we can only ever see a small area at any one time. Yeah. Well, I'm not going to leave here just yet. Also, I'm a little concerned with how close we can get to that. I do want to just try and make our way along here. Uh, it's totally fine. So it was, it was, it was the toaster bastard who was leaving these toaster mines all over the place. Right? Oh, come on. There we go. Mm, we're totally fine. I don't know how far this is going to take us. Yeah. Well. I want to spend more time here. I do. But I feel like we have explored most of it at this stage. Sure, there is a chance that I've missed out. On oh, hang on. Let me quick save. Just in case. We don't want to have a crash now. But yeah, I feel like we have explored most, if not all, of the area. Sure, we feel rather thirsty looking at all this nice water. I think we'll just go down to the water's edge and have a sip before moving on. Who's interested in us? Come on. Oh, someone's swimming down below, I think. Okay, well, I just... I just want to collect some water here. And then move along. Um, unfortunately, it is going to be purified water for us when we bottle it. So we're going to have to throw away some of the water, because obviously we don't want all of it. And then we're going to have to try and work out the equation for how much uh, of our experimental radix we need to give away. So, bottles of purified water. We'll go ahead and drop. Let's see... 
just drop seven of them for now. That'll put us at capacity. Okay, so that leaves us with six bottles of purified water. We can maybe try and keep a few, now that I think about it, but just to drink first. Sure, we'll go one, two, and then we'll drop five. There we go. Okay, and as for our experimental, I think we get like four for one. Yeah, so we'll go just chuck three away. There we go. Good trade, water. Good trade. And well, with us being hunted by mysterious waterlogged men, I think that's where we're going to end our episode for today. Because I don't quite want to leave this place just yet. But we will at the end of the next episode, if we have kind of covered everything here. It's difficult for me to know for certain without, you know, kind of going high and low over and over. And it's not going to be the most entertaining thing. So if there's anything else that you'd like to see, oh my God, it's just crashed. <laughs> Well, look, I, I, I think maybe this is a sign. Maybe this is a sign that we're done <laughs> with Old World Blues. Done with Big Mountain for now, so that we can head back to the main map and explore and try and see if we can find that Northern Passage. But, uh, yeah, my gosh. As you can see, we're just using the starting footage here so that we have something. But that's just so on brand. My God, this whole area has been interesting to say the least and i hope it's been interesting to you and hey consider leaving a comment or a like to let me know if you enjoyed the show for now i have the rikon you have all been awesome and until next time stay tuned